Okay, what's up guys, Bionicle Halo 2026 here, here with another Transformer review. This video is for, uh, I think it's Ted Lee 100. I'm not sure. Sorry if I'm saying this all wrong. So sorry. Um, but here he is, Optimus Prime. Now he's as accurate as Megatron, as he, the guy who, who I said before, he subscribed me for that, um, which is pretty nice. Please go tell your friends. If you have friends, go tell them. Um, if you have subscribers, go tell them too. Because, you know, I can just do the good Bionicle for accuracy as much as the next guy. Um, so, yeah, let's get into articulation first, as I normally start with. Head rotates 360 degrees. And just a quick warning, I did make quite a lot of videos about this guy. Quite a lot, ever since the old ones, which he looked a bit different. So, head rotates 360 the head rotates 360 degrees. You can also look up and down. The arms fully rotate. Um, you can also bend at the elbow. He has universal wrist articulation. You can also kick back and forth. Bend at the knee. Rotate 360 degrees at the foot, but uh, it's it's kind of hinged by the this piece here, which is a new piece. Um, if you haven't watched the old videos, this is actually a new piece than what it was before. Um, but it can go side to side and kick. I mean, like fold forward and back oh yeah okay so let's get into detail with this thing okay there is the head for my Optimus Prime which is a custom made head again also I have added these pieces which is new also these windows they're gray with window cracks which is that's another new thing um, you know all that I color this part red before this was gray uh, very very nice detail and the back now the back you guys let me check this out but no i think i've already showed you i'm not sure it doesn't really matter um but if if i have you know whatever but you know if i haven't this is the new back which is pretty nice he's got the flames i added and the these parts here these um gas tanks i took off the smokestacks these are an another new piece now i did say i wanted to add one of the the ones that matter Nui has but I decided to add the one with this, which is the Infernos, um, and I modified it over here, which I had to cut that side just to keep it all nicely. Um, and here he is. Yeah, he's pre he's pretty pretty cool. These pieces used to be here, and then I kind of pushed them outwards a bit. Um, this one, this piece here, scratch piece. I I it used to be red, now it's silver, as it's supposed to be. He's got that piece. You know, quite a lot of. Quite a lot of cool things on this guy. Um, this is personally my favorite Bionicle of all time. Okay? Um, to let you guys know, he is my favorite Bionicle of all time. I mean, super accuracy he's got. And... There's... From... The top to bottom. And yeah, let's do a... Uh, quick weapon show. So first weapon is the Cybertronian blade, which I painted orange um, Before I used uh, what was it highlighter and then I wanted to use orange because the orange is more darker um, You can use these ones like These ones these are poster paint, but um, What I basically done oh crap. It's everywhere again. What I basically done. I mixed it up with um, the older um, I mixed it up with the older uh, gray um, acrylic gray and then I just um, basically what I did, I just, um, mix it up and then I just paint it on, which, which looks pretty nice. Um, and like this, I use, for, uh, for the knees, I use this one. This is also po po poster paint, but I also mix this up with a bit of grey, so you kind of got a different colour there. Um, but, and, uh, and you can use this one too. This one works well. Works just the same well. Um, which is a, a, a ultramarine, so you want to get one of those. Um, so yeah, here's the blade. Basically, I hooks on. I'll just, I'll just pre, show this pretty quickly here, like that. It's kind of a tight, tight joint right there. And there he is with the blade. Okay. There is also the, the Transformers Dark of the Moon way of holding this, which is, on, let me just, smack bang this piece on. There is actually, I just added this piece. I just added that, and then that. Thanks to that, he can hold it like that too, which is also another pretty nice thing that I added. Um, but yeah, okay, so that's that. 
Um, up next for his other weapons, he's also got this, which is the battle axe. Um, I also repainted this whole thing. Um, there she is, but with it right there. Pretty nice. I also have still got his gun. Everybody knows his gun. This gun is for the left hand, so that you can see pretty much see this facing the outwards, facing outwards. Just look that up. And there he is with his cannon, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, he's pretty cool. Uh, so let's see. Um, I'm gonna also do a comparison with Megatron. Here, he, here's my. Um, I've already uploaded a video on this on this Megatron, but uh, I just want to show you, point out to the guys who already watched this. I actually added that new piece right there, that any bitty piece there. And then I added another piece there, which which he because he has he has like quite a lot of these spike things coming out coming out of this piece. Um, and I just added that to make it look overall accurate. And his eyes are the ones that light up. So if I just off this very quickly, his eyes light up. So pretty nice. Um, so yeah, that's my Megatron. Um, I'm just gonna do something very quick here. I'm just gonna um show you what is that piece. Uh, here is one of Sentinel's blade. Um, unfortunately, I have deliberately destroyed my Sentinel. Unfortunately, to the guys who are a fan of Sentinel, um, he wasn't good enough or accurate enough for me. Um, I don't keep the accurate as um, like Ratchet. Ratchet is quite accurate, so here he is. Hello, I just wanted to get in the way of the camera. So yeah, that's actually Ratchet. Um, and also, I never showed you guys Megatron's weapon. I just started to make this. Um, this is his weapon. I remade a new one where if you I'll just show you this the, I know this reviews on on Optimus but you know I just I just gotta show you guys this weapon then his hand goes over it like that so now he's holding his cannon is it looks a lot like a shotgun doesn't it but you know um and he is taller than Optimus I did have to make him taller than Optimus because everybody knows that Megatron's larger than Optimus by miles um, fortunately, up Megatron dies um, in Transformers 3, so spoiler right there. Sorry for the people who didn't want to know that, but you know it's sad that he died. Um, everybody thinks it's sad that he died because he was a really good character, and I guess that means that is the last of Transformers. So that was the review on Optimus. Please subscribe and bye.